So today I want to share with you something that I want, I call it change your language. And it's actually from Job chapter two, verse nine. And I'll read the verse out. It's actually Job's wife talking to her husband, Job, and saying, then his wife said to him, do you still hold fast your integrity? Curse God and die. And this verse, Job's wife is telling him, you know what, just curse God and die. And when you think about it, that's actually what the enemy tells all of us. He tells us with your mouth, curse, and that's it. Curse what's in your life. And that's something that we're always, it's something that comes to us because of how, what the enemy does in our life. And what are the two things, biggest things, of course, one is our own self. The enemy tempts us to curse our, ourselves. Second is the blessings around us. The blessings can be your spouse, your children, your job, your career. What the enemy does is this. It's very simple. He stretches us so much that we want to curse. As in like this, like the curse is not like a bad word. It's basically declaring, declaring bad thing over it. That's what a curse is, declaring something bad when you're supposed to bless with your mouth. So the enemy, you, you, we all have experienced it. He stretches us so much. We're so stretched. We want to be like, oh, I'm so frustrated. Why am I like this? The first thing you want to do is curse yourself. You're like, why am I like this? Why, I, why can't I do this? Why, why? And you curse yourself. You say, I'm so this, I'm so that. You know, there's the list of words that we can say. If someone asks us our weaknesses, the list that we can make is huge, right? We can think of our weaknesses like this because that's what the enemy has done. He has made us focus on our weaknesses. But what we have to do is change our language. When we get frustrated and we're like, why did I do this wrong? Instead of saying, oh, I'm so, I'm so this, say, God, I need more wisdom. That's how we change our language because we don't let the enemy let us curse what we have. The second aspect is actually the blessings around us. How many times like our job could be a blessing, our career could be a blessing, but the enemy stretches us. He stretches us and we're like, God, we just want to open our mouth and curse what we're blessed with, right? Our spouse, our children. It's so easy. Like they stretch us and we're like, why are you doing this? And we're so easy to say those words out of our mouth. And that's the exact same thing. Job's wife told her, told him, mm -hmm. curse God and die. And that's the temptation that we have every day from the devil. And so one verse that I want to say before we end is Deuteronomy verse 30, sorry, chapter 30, verse 19. So Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19 says, I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that, that I have set before you life and death blessings and curse therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live so all of us we have a choice every single moment not like not just a day not just a year every moment we have that choice life and death every single moment we have that choice and changing our language is changing and choosing life mm 